a quadrilateral. Why did they pick such a large word? Quadrilateral. Lateral. Whoops. Um, is a polygon with four sides. And they want to know, hey, is this thing, is it possible to write this as a biconditional statement? Now, I'm not going to write it all down because it's in your textbook, but let's just think about that. We have to have P and Q, right? So, well, maybe we'll write down P and Q. So, we're going to say that P um, how would I write P? What is your what is your conditional statement? I would say a the implication is a figure is a quadrilateral. All right, that's good. And then Q would be the conclusion. So this is the hypothesis. The next thing we're writing down is the conclusion. Um, a, um, a figure has four sides. I think, let me think that through. Oh, let's say polygon instead of figure. Okay. All right, now let's just say this. Um, how would I, I don't want to write it all down. How we, we need to verify the conditional statement and see if it's true or false, okay? <clears throat> so I would say if a figure is a quadrilateral, then it is a polygon with four sides. Is that true? Yes, so that's true, right? Now we need to check the converse, which is Q implies P, right? And we need to see if that's true or false. So now the converse would be, if a polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Show of hands if you think that that statement is true. Raise your hand. What if you think that statement is false? Raise your hand. What if you don't feel like raising your hand? Raise your hand. I got you to raise your hand. No, this is true, right? So because the conditional statement is true and the converse is true, then we know that this could be rewritten or written as a biconditional statement. So now the biconditional statement goes like this. Uh, P can imply Q and Q can imply P. And so I would say if and only if a figure um, is a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. Okay? 